Doesn't matter which way you turn, 360 degrees of awesomeness. In part one of my Utah trip, I was in Valley of the Gods. From there, I went east on 163, then north on Highway 191. That took me through Bluff, Blanding, and Monticello. A few miles past Church Rock is a road to the east that takes you to Needles Overlook. It's about 450 miles from Phoenix, 280 miles from Salt Lake City, and from my journey from the Valley of the Gods was only 105 miles. Near Monticello, you'll pass a hill of wind turbines, leaving no doubt that it's a windy place. Soon you'll pass Church Rock, which is by the Canyonlands turnoff, but a few miles more is the turnoff for Needles Overlook. About halfway in, you might catch sight of this unusual dwelling. Someone's actually carved a shelter right into a sandstone mound. After 22 miles of paved road, you reach the parking lot of Needles Overlook. It's only a few feet away from a breathtaking view of Canyonlands National Park. There's no camping at the Overlook, but there is paid camping at several primitive sites in the area. For boondocking, however, follow the dirt roads to the south of the main road that are scattered through the pines. I chose a spot that was literally right at the edge of a cliff. If you want a room with a view, you can't beat this. People starting out for the first time and trying to figure out what boondocking's all about, the first question they ask is, well, how much does it cost? Well, the boondocking part itself is free, because boondocking is camping for free, whether it be on public lands or in parking lots, wherever you may be, it's free. However, there's a lot of costs also involved to that, and some of them are a little complicated. I'd love to just give you a dollar amount, but it doesn't work that way. My major expense this trip was fuel. After one province and eight states, many of them more than once, I was traveling over 8,000 miles. Even with a light load and low gas prices, it still all adds up. I was thinking of doing a whole video on the cost of boondocking, but I think it would just be too depressing. Yes, freedom has its price, and just do a little pre-planning before you head out. Now let's just go back to the fun part.
So here's my special sunset meal tonight. It's uh, tomato rice, uh, veggie nuggets, and uh, fried okra with a little ketchup. Mmm, it's great. After the sun had set, I sat on a rock and glanced across the valley. From my vantage point high above canyon lands, I could see the headlights of the travelers heading back to camp at dusk. It reminded me of the famous scene in Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, when they are being tracked by lawmen after robbing a train. There's a long shot of the posse's lanterns as they follow their trail. Butch and Sundance are shown peering at them from the rocks above. By coincidence, part of that movie was shot in Utah. Late that night, I felt the fury of what it's like to camp on a valley rim in Utah. Remember those wind generators in Blanding? The wind is powerful here. In the middle of a violent gale, you can hear the wind. Now I know some people are worried that a fold-up trailer like this doesn't hold up well in a windstorm. Although it shook a little in the peak gusts, I can't say I was really that concerned. That said, it's probably a good idea to avoid hurricanes anyway. By next morning, the storm was over, and the sun peeked over the horizon and lit up the valley. That first light really brings out the textures in the rock formations, something you can't see during the mid part of the day. One of my biggest hassles on the road is editing. Um, I use a Dell computer, a laptop, and uh, it takes one of these batteries and unfortunately to charge them they need 110 and uh, that originally meant that when I started boondocking I had to take a night and uh, go to somewhere where they had plug-ins so I had enough power to edit. Uh, after that I ended up getting uh, a charger off uh, Amazon that will plug into my car so I can actually at least charge these up and also edit in the car. Which again is a big pain in the butt because you're sitting in your driver's seat and you're trying to edit and balance your laptop. Uh, so uh, it's been a challenge. Not only that, I don't have the best software in the world either. Um, I can say the name, Roxio. It keeps crashing on me. I'll do five minutes of editing and if I haven't been saving, I'll have lost it and I'll have to start all over again. So it's a challenge. However, when it all comes together, Although it's been tough, it, and it works, it makes it worthwhile, so uh, then I'm happy. But Fortunately, I got away from my computer and looked out the window. Well, I couldn't have planned a better sunset than that for an ending, but uh, that's it. That's gorgeous. As sunsets go, this one was legendary. A perfect close to a wonderful journey. I'll leave you to enjoy it and I hope you'll follow me on my next adventure as well. Happy camping!